all right guys so part two on what i was talking about in the last video so we talked about climbing the mountain of the lord we talked about having the right outlook on life and and then addressing all these little uh things that come into our life right and all those things are are, are exposing our character every step of the way exposes your character and a lot of people think that that's like the tests of God. Not everything is a test of God, but a lot of things exposes our character. And so God is trying to make us to be love, just like he is love. So ultimately what we should do is we should address everything with gentleness, self-control, slow to speak, quick to listen. This is what the Bible tells us to conform to, right? The, the, the outlook on life that takes you to the highest success realm in this world. God is giving us the recipe and it is to conform to love. That way, you're not having a lot of enemies, right? Because it even says in the Bible to bless your enemies, to be peacemakers, right? And so the best quality life a person can have is not to have a bunch of plastic and materialism surrounding them or metals or precious metals and this or that things that shine and things that are glamorous the most epic life that we could have is a life that has joy peace and righteousness one that that flows from those streams one that has love at the center of it all is one is a life no matter if you're poor or rich no matter if you're on top known by the world or on the bottom known by nobody but to flow from those streams is to live the most quality type life in the sense of how you feel on the inside your outlook on life the way you're perceived and the way that you are your identity having a clean conscience all of those streams is very important because what good is it to have a bunch of money but your conscience condemns you. The Bible says, what well, would it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his own soul? People that have a lot of money that have done the wrong things to get it don't have any peace. They're always looking out their windows to see if the person that they robbed or the person that they conned or the person that they did whatever to, they're always looking out the blinders. They can't even sleep at night. They have to have guns. They, their family's not safe. What kind of life is that? To have stuff but not to have peace. How could you ever enjoy it? So I much rather, I don't know about you, but I much rather have peace and quality time with my family, but not have as much stuff, but have that because that is what's called eternal treasure. And that's what God tells us to do is store up treasure in heaven. And when we have that, that's what the world is after, but they're, they're going about it buying diamonds and gold and jewelry and stuff like that to try to acquire what God has given us for free. To live and maintain the right life is to keep it. To sell peace and all that is to deviate from the right life, the narrow road, the life that God called us to live is to treat each other right, right? And we all know what that looks like and what that is like. You shouldn't steal, you shouldn't kill, you shouldn't destroy. You shouldn't, you know, and, and God takes it further. You shouldn't slander. You shouldn't gossip. You shouldn't, you know, be quick to, to be angry. The Bible says you can be angry, but be angry and sin not. Because anger, anger, there's, that's an emotion. You can be angry, but don't sin. So to kind of, and this is the journey. The journey is to get to that destination. And you're going to slip up and you're going to fall and you're going to get back up and you're going to keep going and you're going to keep up with repentance. And you're going to feel bad for missing the mark and, you, and it's going to be okay because God's going to forgive you and you're going to get better next time. And, you, and it's this process of molding and shaping and sculpting. He is the part of we are the clay. But the destination, the lifestyle, the journey is to maintain order in your mind, in your heart and everything to give God glory. And to become what he called us to be. That is to live the life. The most high quality life that a person can live. Is to go to heaven and say good job. Good and faithful servant. That's what we're all after. God bless you guys.